In this short clip, we'll take a look at how you get started uh, modeling a bridge with Open Bridge Modeler. And, and the first thing you need is geometry. Uh, you need an alignment and a profile. Now, there's several ways to get to that point. Uh, you can import that into uh, a 2D model uh, and alignments and profile. And to do so, you would select the geometry button here, and then you would select uh, and open a file that contains geometry. And that file could be a Geopack GPK file, an Inroads ALG file, an MX uh, file that has alignment and profile data in it, or a Land XML file. So you select the file and open it. And then from there, it's going to show you a little window like this. And what you'll want to do is drill down into here and find the uh, alignment that you want, and then select uh, the associated profile that goes with it. And you'll put a check mark next to the profile, and then up above you'll see a uh, check mark by the alignment uh, and, and so forth. And then you click import, and that would import in uh, the alignment profile for you. Another option is in the task menu, you do have access here under civil tools to all the horizontal and vertical geometry tools that you need to uh, create an alignment and profile. And that's doable and there are some good videos out there that explain how to do that. Uh, your other option and the simplest one is if the uh, roadway folks have already created the alignment and profile is you can reference that in. So if you go to uh, the attach window here and just uh, attach a reference file and select OK, you now have, as you can see when you hover over it, an alignment. It says complex element. It has a name. And then you have a profile. It says proposed. And uh, that's what you need uh, to be able to use the add button here. So when I select add, uh, it will pop up a little window here in the task uh, window or in the settings window here that allows me to select uh, the type of structure that I have and give that structure a name and then I simply select that alignment and accept and that's how you start the process of modeling a bridge.